palms real good and got him to cut a hole in the floor of the boxcar as the gold was going to be shipped in. After the gold was loaded, one of his boys crawled under the train and pulled himself into the boxcar, see? <laughs> then when the train was moving, he... <laughs> the voiceover, though. Highly... And when the train was moving, he dropped the gold down the hole onto the tracks. Mickey's boys picked it up and got away clean, see? <laughs> Nobody ever suspected Mickey was behind it. So what I'm looking for is 20 gold bars. The paper said altogether they weighed around 600 pounds. The question is, did Mickey hide them in one place or did he spread them around? He must have buried them. But where? I just thought of something. Maybe Mickey trained his dogs to go to the gold if you said the right word. I'm going to try saying gold to them tomorrow and see what happens. I've said every word I could think of to all the dogs. They haven't led me anywhere except around in circles. I spent the last month following them around. First Xander, then Vetus, then Lucy. I don't have to follow Iggy because all he does is sleep on the porch. So it looks like I'm going to have to start digging, see? <laughs> I'll dig under the porch first, seeing as that's where Iggy always is. A month ago, I started working as a handyman over in Lewistown to make ends meet. So even though I stop by Mickey's every day to feed the dogs, I can only look for the gold at night. I dug all around under the porch, but I didn't find nothing, see? I marked the porch on the map. Joe the Akers? <laughs> Emily said Jeff Akers' father was named Joe. Maybe Jeff is related to William Akers after all. Alright, I marked the map with a big eye for Iggy, because that's the place he always leads me to. I'm so busy digging last Tuesday night that I almost wasn't there when my son was born. We're calling him Joe. His big sis is real happy. She says baby Joe is just like the dolly she's always <laughs> wanted. We could never afford to get her, but we could totally afford a kid. <laughs> the truth is, yeah, we can't really afford <laughs> Joe neither. Ha, I knew that was going to happen. I keep writing to Mickey, to asking him to please tell me straight out where the goal is, see? But he never writes back. I'll just have to keep digging. Oh, goody numbers. It's... Oh, oh yeah. This is how to get back to the cemetery. Really? Really? Really, really what? The secret of the Scarlet Hands sitting out now. Okay, uh huh. Hey, I spend all, all my free time digging in the woods. I dig around everything that could be a landmark. See? Logs, rocks, tree stumps, but I never find nothing. Plus, I keep getting lost. Paths look so much alike. Yeah, they do. Especially at night, that I spend most of my time trying to figure out where I am. Yay, well, at least it's not just me. <laughs> so, last Sunday, I memorized the way to the cemetery. And we're writing that down. Even though Mickey never allowed the dogs in the speakeasy or the tunnels, I've been looking there for the gold because I looked everywhere else I can think of and got nowhere. Last night I found out that Mickey changed the Pasco to the spigots in the speakeasy. This got my hopes up because... Well, I'm checking it. Because the... Wait, I figured it. Why would Mickey change the code without telling me unless he was hiding something? But when I finally figured out the new code, see, I didn't find nothing in the tunnel. That opened up that wasn't there before. Why Mickey sent all that money and pictures of those dogs, I'll never understand. That's obviously important. I give up. Mickey's dead and so are all his dogs. I'll never find the gold. I got a good job off in Harrisburg and I'm going to take it. Little Joe and Sarah deserve a better life than they've gotten so far. And it's high time Callie got a nice house and a husband who doesn't spend all his time chasing after something he can't find. But I'm leaving this journal here because who knows, maybe someday I'll suddenly remember something Mickey said and it'll finally hit me where he hid the gold. Maybe I'll come back here and find it after all. But in the meantime, I got my family. They're what's important. They're treasure enough. Oh, the last part's not funny in the gangster voice. The right. dogs will lead the way. I wonder what that means. So here's Iggy. And he never figured out where anyone else was. Well, one of them likes the boat. Yeah. Well, let's, we're going to take this with us, I'm sure.
Yeah, 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 go away. So I'm gonna, I guess I'll go back and complain to her that I can't find enough bugs. Because I don't know if it's gonna trigger that we can find them in the dark if we don't complain. We were called up in the dark. Hey there, Nancy. Got that bait yet? Not yet. Sooner you get them, the better. Do you know anything about the gold that Mickey Malone supposedly buried somewhere on his property? All I got to say about it is, if there really was a bunch of gold buried somewhere, and nobody ever found it, it's for darn sure nobody ever will. Not with them dogs up there. Guess I'll see dogs. you later. Always a pleasure. 